Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have three stories for you this week. A drone pilot loses control of their drone over a stadium. Not good. Uh, an update to the man who shot down the police drone a couple of years ago. And then DJI releases a new LiDAR unit called the L2. Let's get to it. First up this week is the kind of uh, don't be that guy segment, unfortunately. Uh, it's a drone that flew over a college football game, resulting in the players being evacuated from the field. Uh, this happened in Columbus, Ohio, where uh, this gentleman is named Rigoberto Canaca Escoto. Uh, he flew a drone that he purchased the day before at Best Buy, and he flew it over the stadium. Uh, upon ret returning to the, uh, the pilot, there was the Columbus counterterrorism police that was able to track the drone back to the pilot. Uh, he admitted that he had no knowledge of basic UAS safety, uh, hadn't taken trust, and that he lost both control of the aircraft for about three minutes while over the stadium and that he was uh, out of line of sight. Uh, he's been charged in Franklin County, Ohio with uh, not FA related, but county related uh, offenses, uh, unsafe operation of an aircraft in a careless and reckless manner, uh, two counts of aircraft operation without a license, uh, inducing panic by committing an offense with reckless disregard and then disorderly conduct in a physically offensive condition. Yikes, that's, uh, that's a big rap sheet right here. Now this really reinforces quite frankly, the need for having drone manufacturers include documentation, mentioning the basic rules that need to be followed followed. It is as simple as putting a link to the trust test that the FAA has available for free. Uh, had he done trust, he probably wouldn't have flown the drone because he would have known that he wasn't supposed to. Uh, the FAA actually has a flyer that is theoretically required to be included in every drone box sold in the US. That's a little kept secret that is unfortunately not enforced. Uh, this would have saved this guy a lot of hassle, quite frankly. All right, next up is an update on a story that we talked about nearly two years ago. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with the story, a man in Florida, surprising, uh, shot down a Lake County Sheriff Matrice 300 in 2021. Uh, according to the man, the drone was harassing him. Uh, however, the Lake County Sheriff was investigating reports of burglary in a nearby 10-acre warehouse. The man was a 29-time convicted felon, and now he faces 10 years in prison for possession of a firearm and ammunition, which he wasn't really supposed to have. So, Please don't be these guys. Uh, don't uh, don't obviously fly a drone in a TFR. Don't shoot at drones. Just not a good idea, all in all. All right, positive story for uh, finishing here. The last story this week is the Zenmuse L2 LiDAR from DJI. Uh, the new L2 is compatible with both the Matrice 300 and the Matrice 350. Uh, when you compare it to the L1, the L2 increases detection range by 30% with a reduced spot size of four by two 4 by 12, I'm sorry, centimeters at 100 meters. So if you're in LiDAR, you know what that means. It means just added uh, detection range. Uh, the L2 has a maximum point cloud rate of 240,000 pound points per second and a 20 megapixel four-third uh, CMOS sensor with a mechanical shutter. Uh, the L2 isn't as expensive as other LiDAR units, even though it comes in at uh, $13,500, uh, according to the DJI website, for the basic combo. Uh, pretty cool device, quite frankly. Uh, maybe we'll get our hands on one of those eventually and then let you know how it works. All right, this is all I have this week. We just came back from uh, our trip in Colorado at the Colorado Drone Show. Uh, we saw a lot of you out there. Uh, it was great to uh, meet with more students in person, take photos, uh, do some trust certificates. We did uh, quite a few uh, FPV first rides. Uh, we had a FPV um, body box and we were able to get people flying FPV for the first time in their life. And uh, that was really cool. And uh, yeah, it was just a great show overall. Uh, thank you to uh, the Colorado State University out there uh, for having us. We also had a really cool drone show, a uh, drone light show. I had actually never seen one in person. We've reported on a lot of them, uh, never been able to see one in person. We had a hundred drones up in the air. Uh, we were able to get uh, close and uh, really close actually to the drones. It was really cool. Uh, what really 
um, did it for me was the the, the three dimensional aspect of the drone show, uh, something that you never really realize when you see videos because uh, well you have that additional aspect that just doesn't come up in video. So if you have a chance to see one of those, uh, please go see one. It was really impressive. And then the rest of our team was also at AZ Drone Fest down in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, we had also a great showing there uh, with a lot of people coming to visit. Uh, all in all, I hope these three events are actually uh, apart next time so that I can be at both of them. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's all we have. Have a great weekend and we'll see you next week. Thumbnail face? That's always my thumbnail face. Vogue? Do a Vogue? A Vogue? Vogue. Like this? I'll take it. Slow clap. Come on now. Uh -oh. I'm not good at those thumbnails.